It's got quite impressive Dundas Aqueduct up front. You can see it's the uh, Simply Stoke Valley down through here. There you go, the railway just below the river there. It's going over. I'll get the drone up over it. Dundas Aqueduct was um, designed by John Rennie. Construction started in 1797, it was completed by 1801. Uh, it wasn't open until 1805, uh, I'm assuming the rest of the canal. Um, the whole uh, canal and Avon was being done at the time. Uh, it was rebuilt, it was closed briefly. Um, it wasn't, I, I don't think it was massively rebuilt, so it was leaking completely, it was completely dry. Uh, and it was relined and stuff, uh, and leaks leaks fixed with uh, concrete and uh, more liner. Spillware. That's a spillway.
So that's um, off to Bath. Um, but and then that drops down onto the river and goes up towards Bristol on the river route then. And then uh, that way and over the aqueduct is off toward um, Bracken and Avon. Then goes to Trowbridge and Malcham to Devizes and off to the Kennet. Missing on the air. Uh, wow, Somerset and the works and barks. Loads of boats, loads of people moored, living, happy life. Cost of living at the moment and stuff. It's, um, there's more and more people going onto the boats, and it's a crowded network now. We're desperate for investment in the, in the networks to be able to expand them. And what better way than reviving the old waterways? Not many things. Housing crisis, not people's cost of living, people's mental health, a lot. Daddy, 